getting rid of that, if you are in gaflet, then you are in big trouble. You are in big trouble in dunya. Shaitan doesn't have to spend so much energy on you because that's enough gaflet there. With that gaflet, you'll be able to do everything. Uh, just like a man, why is forbidden in Islam? Why it is haram in Islam to drink liquor, wine, is haram, but it's not haram to eat, drink orange juice or vinegar or uh, grape juice. Why it is haram? It makes you to lose your own self and do things without the uh, understanding with your own willpower. You lose your willpower. You will be drunk and you will be not knowing. You will be not doing things with intelligence. You lost your intelligence. When you get drunk, you have just lost your intelligence. You go and check. Even if he's a president, doesn't matter. Very good gentleman, mashallah, appearing, very nice, talking very nicely. Very good lady, mashallah, lady, kind. Lady, it's a, it's a big word now. You gotta never not enter to that part. Lady, appearing everywhere, nice, talking, nice, uh, moving, da da da. Get two glasses of drink and look what happens. Why? Because you lose your mind. Shaitan overtakes you. So you get drunk. You get drunk. The hitlessness is worse drunk station than for a man who is drinking. Because from drunkness, if you drink this liquor, um, that's how they drink. They drink. This is how they drink. I'm watching them. <laughs> cheer, cheer. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sometimes later. You see, it's a different person right in front of you. If he's not talking, you start talking non-stop. If he's a quiet person, you see, he does unusual things. If he's a modest <coughs> person, now you see, he's taking out the clothes. Whatever is in the ego that time, the desires of the ego, appears and surfaces completely up now. And running to do, hundred percent what the ego wants to do. So there is no control because there is no willpower now. You are under the authority complete hundred percent in the hand of your ego and direction through the direction of shaitan. Doesn't matter who you are at the time. You can be a porter or you can be a king or queen. You lost yourself. You do things that sometimes you regret all your life that time what you did. Yes. But even if it's that, that drunkness, <coughs> in Islam, next day you wake up, that drunkness leaves the body, so the body comes back to the normal activity again, your intelligence comes, your willpower, everything is there now, and you say, what I did yesterday, how I act last night. In the old days, people, they were feeling shame, they, they don't go around the people what they did that, that night, now they don't care, say, because they all like that now, all drunk. <laughs> 
And the shaitan continues giving, saying, drink more now. It has to be only night time. Drink daytime too. Not only daytime, morning time too. Not morning time, midnight too. Morning, zuhur time, that time, this time. Keeping those ones active. <coughs> Shaitan is not letting, but no matter what happens, they wake up next day because now no workplace accepting a man going to a job drunk. Even if he works in the bar, he cannot go drunk. What kind of nonsense is this now? <laughs> I'm working in the bar and I cannot go there drunk? You cannot. So if a person comes to his senses and understanding the reality of what he has just done yesterday, and understanding that he has did a crime, it's a big crime. What is crime? What Allah forbids you, you run to do. That is a crime. You just lost your honor. Because honor, when you lose your honor, when you break your promise to your Lord, you have just lost your honor again one more time. So wake up to yourself. Get up from that hitless station. And whatever it takes, wake yourself up from the titless station. If it's necessary punching yourself, punch yourself. If it's necessary to going under the shower, opening the hot water on top of your head, do it. If it's necessary to dive inside the cold water, do it. Whatever it takes, do it to wake up. Because only you can wake yourself up from the gaflet station. The leaders of Islam, they will just tell you, you're going to wake yourself up, nobody else. So, so the second drunkness is the gavlet, which is worse than the first drunkness. There is mentioned opening, saying to you, don't drink, it is haram. Gavlet? Gavlet is haram too. To a believer, gavlet is haram. Now, you're going to ask Sheh, which ayat saying this? Go and look for it all your life now if you want. Believer is that one who's watching and preparing himself for his Lord. Believer is that one. What he's doing, what he's trying to do, he's connected with his Lord and is saying, does this fit to my Lord? My Lord is just watching me right now. Is he happy with me? I am doing this action. Say that to yourself. My Lord is watching me right now. Is he happy with me drinking? My Lord is watching me right now. My prayer just finished. Prayer time just finished and I'm not praying. Is he happy with me now? My Lord is watching. Right now he's watching. Is he happy with me? I'm putting a figure in my mouth. Is he happy with me? Watch. If he is, do it. If he is not, don't do it. You don't need to read books. No, you don't need to read too many books. You don't need to have somebody giving you advice every little action that you're going to do. Ask yourself this. Say, I'm doing this action. Does it fit to present to my Lord? He is watching me right now. Say, am I going to be able to do this in the judgment day in front of everybody? In front of my Lord too? <laughs> if you're going to, if you like it, do it. We have no word to do that. If you don't like it, 